researcher, whether that's experimentalist, you do wet lab work, or you do dry lab stuff in bioinformatics, and you're not using OneNote. What is wrong with you? Do you hate yourself? Do you like misery? Do you just want to waste time? Do you want to lose years of your life? Why are you not using OneNote? Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about using OneNote as a researcher. It's been my daily driver for my entire PhD. Every single thing that you need to do during your PhD, you can basically use OneNote for it. I don't like Notion because it's super bloated, it's complicated, OneNote is simple, it's free, everything is searchable. I'm going to show you how I use OneNote for all three aspects of my PhD research, whether it's taking notes and planning, whether it's actually keeping track of the experiment, or whether it's the final step and it's writing up, um, writing your thesis, writing papers, grants, whatever. So let's get right into it then. Okay, so as the name suggests, OneNote is super powerful at taking notes. So you can create different notebooks and have different sections within each notebook and then have different pages for each topic. So I just have one notebook for my entire PhD thesis and you can make a new section just by clicking add section over there. And then when you open up a page, each page is literally infinitely scrollable and you can click anywhere and write anywhere you can post um, pictures in here you can attach pdfs in here you can put tables everything it is just wonderful so my absolute favorite feature on OneNote and what makes it so, so powerful is its search feature. So it's so different from using like a physical notebook or writing on Microsoft Word. So if you click Control F and search for a word, say biomarker, you can literally, it will highlight everything on that page. But then if you click Control E, it will literally search for that word every single time it comes up on any of your pages on any of your notebooks. So literally you will never lose anything that you've ever written. You can just write the word and it will pop up. It also does that for figures, screenshots, your handwritten notes, anything you ever put inside OneNote is going to be searchable. Isn't that just amazing? Okay, so when you're reading papers and you want to take notes, what you can do is obviously just write text in your notes, but also you can take screenshots of a figure and that will directly be pasteable into OneNote. Pasteable, <laughs> that is a word I think, or I just made it up. So here, just paste it on OneNote and there you go. You have such rich notes that way. And then you can start typing again anywhere, literally just amazing. Here's me proving my earlier point. So if you want to find, say, bead array in this photo, it's literally going to highlight it straight away. Now, one thing that breaks my heart is how many PDFs academics print to take notes on and how many trees that must be killing. So you can actually use OneNote as a printer. So you can directly print your PDFs into OneNote and then you can annotate them, highlight them, take notes next to them, post pictures, screenshots, everything in your infinite scrollable PDF page. You can have text and screenshots and PDF in a single page. What other software does that, guys? I am dying. Like, come on. One, like, come on. Okay, so if you're serious about going paperless and making your life easy at the same time, I highly recommend getting a tablet. So the OneNote experience on a tablet is just phenomenal. And I do prefer Microsoft tablets over Apple ones just because you get a whole computer and Apple sucks. Anyway, there, I said it. Ha <laughs> ha. But seriously, Microsoft tablets, ugh, amazing. So here you can just basically highlight on top of the PDF. You can take your own notes on the side, handwritten notes. Did I mention they were fully searchable? Yes, I did. I also forgot to mention that if you are a student and you get um, like the Microsoft Nexus 365 account, you automatically get one TB of OneDrive storage. So OneDrive syncs with OneNote because it's all like the Microsoft suite and it's so beautiful. I love it so much. So you can upload your notebooks to OneDrive and then you can have like huge notebooks with lots of data and information and they won't go anywhere and you will never run out of space. 
Okay, so the second way I use OneNote as a researcher is actually as a lab notebook. It is just absolutely wonderful. You're gonna just be blown away. Whether you are an experimentalist and you do wet lab stuff, um, how it helps you keep track of your protocols, your experiments, what you've been doing, plan your week, um, put in your results, everything like that. Um, and whether you are a bioinformatician, completely dry lab stuff, which I primarily do now, um, it can help you save your scripts, save analyses, look through your results, find your scripts because everything is searchable. I'm gonna show you the power of that. You can also save like, the figure you made and then under it, just like the code that you used to make that. It works so much better than just, you know, saving things in your file explorer and stuff like that because things get lost, but on OneNote, you can stay organized and never lose any of your data. Also because it like syncs automatically, it just syncs. Okay, so if you are an experimental scientist, this is how you can use OneNote as a lab notebook. So I had a separate section for my experiment, and then within that I had saved all of my protocols together. Um, so now often in the lab we have printouts of protocols where you scribble something and you want to save it. So you can actually download the OneNote app on your phone, and then you can basically take scans of those scribbles or documents straight into OneNote pages. So to keep track of my weekly experiments, I came up with a genius idea indeed. And that was that I went on Microsoft PowerPoint and I literally created this very simple table of the five days of the week. And I then took a screenshot of that and put that into my OneNote. And then I could make lists within those little boxes inside OneNote. Or I could actually handwrite stuff into the little boxes. And also, OneNote has another feature, which is amazing. Honestly, I cannot go through all the features in one video, so you're going to have to subscribe for more. So, ooh, what a smooth intercept. I am so impressed that I forgot what I was saying. Basically, that feature, oh yes, that feature. So basically, that feature is that you can tag stuff on OneNote. So you can tag something as a to-do list and you can get these little check boxes right next to it. And so you can have a proper to-do list on OneNote and it's just, you just like stop this video maybe and go download OneNote like right now. Okay, so another feature is that you can actually link pages together and create clickable hyperlinks within OneNote. Um, so that just blew my mind the first time I found out. So basically you can just like write something and then create a hyperlink to a different page that is maybe related to that page or maybe it's a protocol on the side. You don't have the space to put in the whole protocol there, but you can just say, oh, check this page or check this protocol and write yourself a little note, link it to the other page. And it can do that. And it can also do that to the files on your computer. But I just don't have the time in this video to show you everything. So you're just going to have to explore, guys. Another way I used that Microsoft PowerPoint integration with this was I used to create these little empty boxes with arrows and I would just copy paste them all over my page. And then I would actually create like a whole flow chart of everything I've been doing. And you know how when you're doing experiments and then you have to repeat them, but you change a few conditions and then you have to do it again, but then you come back to it days later or you have other parallel experiments running and you just, for the love of God, you just can't remember what you actually did so this flow chart really really helped me keep track of stuff like that okay so for my bioinformaticians or computer scientists out there you can still use OneNote amazingly as a lab notebook so what I used to do was save all my scripts there or actually what I would do is sometimes there were parts of code that I would always forget. Like I would always forget how to change the axes text on a figure on ggplot in R. And so I would just create a separate page for that so I never forget. And then I can quickly just control E, search and write ggplot axis angle code and it would come up, you know? The other way I used it was every time I made a figure in R, I would just obviously save it as a high definition 
figure on my computer but i would also just quickly take a screenshot and put it in my notebook and then under that i could also again just put the codes that i used i could also put like little results write what that figure actually means so that next time i see it i don't have to figure out from scratch what the heck it's actually showing so it was all like super super useful and yeah, so I would basically have different pages for each of my results. And basically OneNote has all my results for my entire thesis on there, right? So it is like pretty powerful. Okay, so thirdly, I use OneNote to write stuff. You know, the final thing as a researcher is you gotta churn out those papers, publish or perish, you know? Um, so... I have made an entire other video on this. I use OneNote to write as I read, to write up my thesis, to again, you know, because it's so good at note taking and because it's infinitely scrollable and you can write anywhere on your entire page. It's like a wall. It's not a page like you have in Microsoft Word or other note taking apps. It's like a whole wall. So you can scribble here, you can scribble there, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like so fun. If you kind of think big or you think in mind, oh my God, lightning and thunder. But if you can think in kind of like mind maps, um, then it's just, it, OneNote is gonna be so fun to you. It's gonna help you kind of see your notes and see what's happening. Um, and that's why I absolutely love it. Okay, so briefly for this video, because I've really gone into a lot of detail in my other video. Also, my voice is getting hoarse from shouting all about OneNote. So I need to give it a rest. But basically why I love OneNote over any other writing platform is because, again, the infinite scrollability scroll, scrollability, and being able to write wherever you want and then just being able to kind of make sections, put on the side, um, you know. So basically how I do it is on the left, I always take notes, copy paste from my papers and then on the right hand side, I write in my own words and that way i can write as i go along so while i'm reading i can also write because then i can have my notes and my own words side by side in the same document i can also cross check you know sometimes you write something but it's actually incorrect and it was the opposite in the paper so this way because i have the notes from the paper right there as well i can always cross check i always put the link down to the paper i can click on it directly it takes me to the website um that way i can again double check i can also write um you know notes from different papers i put it all uh, in one page if it's on the same topic and then i can combine the results or the concepts from multiple papers and write everything in my own words in one section on the right side so it's just like it just keeps everything so organized so when i'm writing my essays i will have one separate page for each kind of concept or each section so i will read all about that section um, and have all the notes on one page and then write that paragraph or those two paragraphs for that concept you know all at once so again it's just a very very nice organization tool i also like so for example when i'm writing i create kind of my drafts in OneNote. And then I can perfect them in Word. So because my mind kind of already knows that I'm using OneNote for drafts, it won't kind of have that perfectionist tendency when you look at a blank page on Microsoft Word and it scares the hell out of you because you're like, oh my God, this has to look perfect. Like your final thing is going to be in Microsoft Word. So if you separate your draft software from your final software, I think it might help you get started uh, easier because I can just write crap in OneNote and it won't matter. Um, so yeah, that's another kind of brain hack. Okay, so that was quite a packed video. I hope everything made sense. If you guys have any questions, please do comment. If you found this helpful, also comment. It helps me, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm because then it knows that it's a useful video. Um, how do you organize your research? Uh, let me know, I'd love to chat. And also if you have more video requests, do let me know as well. So yeah, like, thumbs up, share, comment, you know, all that stuff makes me so happy when you leave a comment. So um, I will see you in another video. Bye.